sometimes, big just isn't big enough. If your power bank keeps running out too quickly, and you're looking for a massive upgrade, but still in a size you can carry by hand, then this might be exactly what you're looking for. Today, we're checking out the C40 DIY Power Bank Case, a customizable energy station that can hold up to 418,650 lithium cells. No batteries included, no soldering required, just pure DIY freedom. Let's dive in. Before we get too excited, a quick but very important reminder, lithium-ion batteries are powerful, but they also demand respect. Always handle 18,650 cells carefully, avoid short circuits, never mix damaged cells, and make sure the insulation is intact. A single mistake can cause heat buildup or even fire, so treat your batteries with the same caution you'd give to any serious piece of equipment. Another step I recommend is checking and preparing your cells before installation. Ideally, all the batteries should be at a similar voltage level. If some are too high or too low, use a dedicated charger or discharger to balance them to the same starting point, usually around 3.6 to 3.7 volts. This ensures smoother performance and prevents the battery management system from being overloaded right from the start. This is not your everyday pocket power bank. The C40 is a modular case that you fill with your own lithium cells. It supports up to 418,650 batteries arranged in a 1S40P configuration, giving you massive storage capacity while keeping the form factor surprisingly compact. The case itself comes with a built-in battery management system, cooling vents, multiple USB outputs, and even an LED light panel. Essentially, it's a blank canvas for anyone who wants to build their own high-capacity power station without starting from scratch. So what kind of performance are we talking about? With 40 cells installed, depending on their capacity, you're looking at a power bank that can rival or even outperform many commercial units. We're talking hundreds of watt-hours of energy, enough to charge smartphones, tablets, laptops, drones, or even power small tools. The case offers multiple USB-A and USB-C ports, plus a DC output for higher power devices. It's versatile, making it great for camping trips, road travel, or just having a backup power station at home. One more thing I noticed when I was putting the cells in, two of the last batteries actually had a bit too high voltage compared to the rest. Now, normally you want all your cells to be as close as possible in voltage before you put them together in a pack. If one is way higher, it can mess with the balance once you start charging and discharging the whole thing. So what I did was simple, I grabbed my charger, set it to discharge mode, and carefully brought those two cells down to the same level as the others. It doesn't take long, but it's an important step. This way, when the pack is fully loaded, all 40 cells are working together evenly, instead of a few being overcharged or underused. It's just one of those small details that makes a big difference in the long run. Now here's a little tip from me, it's not something you have to do, but it's something I personally like to add whenever I build a battery pack. The housing itself is actually really well designed. The cells sit firmly in their slots, the springs hold good tension, and overall it's built to keep everything in place without much effort. So technically, you don't need to do anything extra. But. I like to take it one step further. After I put all 40 cells into the case, I slid in some thin plastic sheets between the cells. Think of it like an extra insulation layer. This does two things, first, it adds a bit of extra protection, just in case any of the cell wrappers ever get scratched or worn down over time. And second, 
it helps to fill out the tiny bit of free space that can sometimes appear inside the case. It's not a lot of movement, but if you shake the housing, you might notice the cells shifting slightly. By adding these little plastic spacers, the whole pack feels rock solid, almost like one single block of batteries. Again, you don't really need to do this. The design is solid straight out of the box. But for me, having that extra layer of insulation and stability just gives me peace of mind. Especially if I'm going to throw this in a backpack or take it outdoors, I know everything inside is locked in place and won't shift around. In day-to-day -day use, the C40 strikes a nice balance. Yes, it's much bigger than your average pocket charger, but it's still compact enough to carry in one hand or fit in a backpack. The LED light is bright and useful, especially if you're outdoors at night or dealing with a power outage. And since it's a DIY system, you're in full control. You can choose high-capacity cells for maximum runtime, or mix in cells you already have for a more budget-friendly build. To sum it up, the C40 DIY Power Bank case is the perfect project for anyone who needs serious portable energy. It's big, but still hand-sized. It's powerful, but fully customizable. And most importantly, it gives you the freedom to build your own power station exactly the way you want it. So if your old power bank just isn't big enough, maybe it's time to build one that is. Don't forget to like and subscribe.